Hi, it's Eva from Happily Eva After. And today I am shooting a makeup tutorial video for a bold summer lip. So I am going to be shooting this tutorial with a bold red tone lip, but really this is just showing how you can balance a bold lip with the rest of your makeup look. So if you love a bold pink lip or a really orangey red lip, or if you even wanna get crazy and try one of the super trendy um, colored lips like purple or blue that are really popular right now, this all can work, oops, with that. Um, so I just kind of wanted to show you how I like to balance it out. Um, so let's go ahead and get started and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I have lots of videos and tutorials on there as well. So I just have a nice, fresh, clean face. Um, if you, I feel like you can see me pretty well. <laughs> Constantly trying to adjust my lighting here. Um, I feel like uh, just being really moisturized is great for me. I do not use primer for the most part. Um, I'm kind of picky about my skin and I feel like a lot of primers can clog my skin. So I don't use them. But if you use a primer, this is when you would put it on. Um, if you wanna see my skincare routine, I have that linked on my blog. It's almost always on my homepage because I get a lot of questions about it. Um, okay, so here we go. So I am going to go ahead and start with my foundation. Um, I have a very light eye that I'm doing when I'm doing more of an eye look. Um, then I use kind of like pads under my eye to contour the eyeshadow and to protect from it going under my eye, but I'm not gonna use that this time because I'm not going to um, be doing much of an eye. Um, so it'll be pretty easy to control. So first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and use this Bare Minerals Bare Pro Glow. That's what it looks like. The color is free. So I like to just put this on under my makeup. It's very highlighting. So I like to just go ahead and put it and kind of see what it is. Just anywhere I like to have highlighter underneath my, to blend in with my foundation. Um, so I like to just kind of put that on those areas. Obviously this will get blended more. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and use my um, Bare Minerals Bare Pro <laughs> Performance Wear Liquid Foundation. There it is, this color that I'm using is Aspen. So I'm gonna go put it on directly on my face. <laughs> okay, and then Bare Minerals also has this brush that um, they sent me this and I haven't used one of their brushes before, but it's just retractable like this. And it's just for really, really buffing out foundation. I've been really liking using this actually. So I'm gonna show you how it works right now. I feel like it just really gets the foundation to get right in there in my skin and for those areas where you really wanna press it in like around the nose. It's good for that as well. I always really like to make sure that my foundation is very well blended because that is always <laughs> not the cutest look. To have unblended foundation. Okay. Okay, so now that that is done, I'm gonna go ahead and put my concealer on. So I like to use, I love the Fenty Beauty concealers. Here it is right here. The color is 170. Just put this where I like to brighten my face. I have some melasma from um, my pregnancy with Major that 
got darker this summer from being in the sun. So <laughs> that's annoying. So I'm covering it now. And then I have this uh, Gucci Westman. What is her? Westman Atelier. It's this really cool um, face trace contour stick in biscuit, but it looks like this. It's actually super chic packaging. And I like to just just a nice chubby stick you can contour with. I really, really like for a bold lip makeup look for the rest of my face to just be really glowing, really pretty, like that perfect skin look, the nice bold brow, a lash, and then just letting the makeup, sorry, letting the lipstick take center stage. Um, so, that's kind of like what a normal contour, I don't contour my nose because my nose is pretty skinny, but if you contour your no nose, you do it now on the sides. This is kind of what like a normal contour would look like for people who want just like a simple contour concept. Okay, so I'm going to blend first the concealer. So I'm gonna go in with this concealer brush. I look nice and awake. Okay, now, do, 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 do. I'm gonna take a beauty blender and I'm gonna blend my contour. So you really wanna be patient with this. The more, the better you blend, the more natural it's gonna look. I say this in almost every single makeup tutorial I do, but my beauty game really changed when I started doing contour. My face has a tendency when I'm bloated or when I've gained a little weight or had some drinks the night before, it has a tendency to look bigger. And I feel like contour, it's not that hard to do, it really isn't. And it has given me just a really nicer shape to my face when I put makeup on and it really makes a difference in pictures. Um, and I just, I like how it looks. It really slims out my jawline. So for people who are looking to get that extra edge, like look at that cheekbone. Now I'm gonna go in and blend it a little bit more with bronzer. Okay, so at this point, because I look a little crazy, <laughs> I like to take the makeup off of my lips. But before I do that, I'm gonna set my under eyes. So Fenty Beauty has this, um, it's called Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in Butter. This is an amazing baking powder. Um, it's really, really great. So I'm gonna take that concealer brush that I used, dip it in, and then literally just lay it on thick right there. We're gonna brush it off but that's just gonna set it and brighten up the under eye. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some under my contour, under the line of contour. So it'll make my face look even more contoured. <laughs> okay, so while that's setting, um, I'm going to get my, oops, powder on my dress. I'm gonna get my lips ready for a bold lip. So, um, Fenty Beauty just came out with these lip perfecting duo, I guess you could say. One of them, they're, bo they're both called Pro Kisser. This is called um, lip, this is like basically a lip scrub stick and this is the Luscious Lip Balm. I love both of these. If you like a bold lip, these are pretty much a must. So this is just, you can see it, this is the scrub. It just has some natural scrub particles in it, but it's in a lip balm stick. So I go ahead and just, just kind of rub that over my lips. Get some nice exfoliated, gets the dead skin off. 
and then I take a Q-tip and take off the particles and the makeup. You can see, so that's like no lipstick. That is just my lip color that was hiding under the dead skin and the makeup. Okay, now you wanna go in and restore the moisture. So I'm gonna take this lip butter. This is so good. Oh, just paint that on. I get really dry lips and this has really, really, really been a lifesaver for me. I love it. I feel like it kind of plumps the lips also. Anyway, okay, so now we can brush off this. So here's a clean, just fluffy brush and I'm going to use it to brush off the baking powder that I put on. Now I'm nice and brightened. Do you see that? Do you see? We're, we're, our, we're accomplishing perfect skin. That is our goal here. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put do my brows now before I do my bronzer. This is, oh sorry, this is the Precisely Brow by Benefit. Um, this is the brow brush I've been, brush and pencil I've been using for, I would say at least a year, like religiously. It's just really hard for me to find something that beats this. I love it because you can use these little strokes to fill in your brows. I favor a really bold brow. It's taken me a long time to grow out my brows and make them as thick as I wanted. I severely overplucked them, like I would say six, seven years ago. Um, I have a blog post about how I grew them back and got them nice and luscious, um, but they still need some filling in, so I make sure to do that. There we go. Now for my bronzer. So I adore the Armani Beauty bronzers and blushes. They're just really beautiful. Tones in the formula is gorgeous. So this one is Armani Beauty Sun Fabric Sheer Bronzer in 100. That's what it looks like. There isn't any sparkle. It's pretty, just plain, but a gorgeous color. And it's a bronzer brush brush. I'm gonna blend. You want to blend your bronzer into your <sighs> into your oh my god I'm getting a complete mind blank. Major was up all night sick and um contour. <sighs> ah Here's a video of me losing my mind. <laughs> no. Okay, so we're gonna take the bronzer and blend it. And then we're gonna just blend our contour where we put it, the top of our forehead. Okay. Now, lastly, I'm gonna take a little blush and I'm gonna give myself, and I'm gonna use it. <laughs> I'm gonna take some blush and I'm gonna use it. So here we go, this is Armani Beauty again, um, blush, it's number 506. It's the color, it's just a really pretty, it doesn't have sparkle in it. Cause again, we really want, I mean, I love a blush with sparkle, don't get me wrong, but we really want the lip to take center stage here. I'm gonna get that right on your cheekbones for a little pretty flush. Okay, let's 
see it a little better now. Okay, now that that is done, let's do our eye. Um, I'm going to curl my eyelashes really quickly before we use this makeup palette, just so that I have that done as we're putting color in. Curling your eyelashes is key, in my opinion, to a really pretty makeup look. Okay, so this palette is the um, Bare Minerals Gen Nude Rose Eyeshadow Palette. You can see I use it a lot. I really like this because it comes off as neutral. So if you're looking for a really neutral palette, there's a couple shimmery shades, but generally speaking, it's pretty low key, which I really like about it. So I'm gonna take Haze, which is the this one, just the really, the bone color. I'm just gonna put it all over my eye from the inner corner out. Set a nice base. Okay, now we're going to go on the eye lid into the crease with this color Pixie, which is almost a slightly more grayish, lavenderish. It's not as bone colored. Again, this is gonna be very, 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 very subtle. Which is the point. So eyelid into the crease. Make sure you can see that. Okay, and now um, this color Free Spirit, which is the one that has the most <laughs> taken out of it. Doo -doo. I'm gonna use that to just really lightly contour the crease of my eye, just to create a little depth. But it's not gonna be really bold, it's not gonna be super noticeable. Um, just to create a little depth as a base for my um, just pretty glowing skin lip. So to do this, you wanna make sure you tap out and then you wanna get, I really like an angled brush like this. And then you just put it right where your crease is to the outer corner. So crease to outer corner and then you blend. So the darkest shadow is at the outer point of your eye and then lightens as it goes in. And you wanna start there because right when you put your brush to your skin is where it deposits the most. So you wanna imagine doing like a V into the corner of your eye and to the corner of your lash line. That's how you contour. So as you see, it's just really pretty. It's really light. There's a tiny bit of dimension, but it's not too crazy. This is exactly what we want. Okay. Now I'm gonna take just a little fine brush and do it on my lower lash line, the outside of my lower lash line also. You want to make sure you tap this out really well so you don't get deposit of the color. Okay, and now I'm going to do some liquid liner. In case you want to put lashes on, it's great to have the liner. So this is the Fenty Beauty, talked about this a lot, fly liner black. Can you see this? It's like a 
put a really thin It's a really thin line right at the lash line. <laughs> okay, now for mascara. So this is my fave, ongoing fave, Benefit Roller Lash in black. I really like the brush. I really like the formula. Um, I don't think it's like life-changing. It's the most solid mascara for me that I've used. I really like the formula. Um, it's hard for me to describe. I just feel like the formula is really, really good. It doesn't dry out too quickly. It really coats my lashes well. It gives a lot of volume and length. But it's not, I don't know, I just feel like it doesn't feel like cheap. It definitely doesn't flake. I actually used a different mascara yesterday and it was pouring rain. It was just very humid. And I ended up with the mascara like all over my face halfway through the day. And it's funny with mascara, I feel like you don't realize really how different formulas are unless you're in a situation where it's like really humid or hot or whatever, or and then stuff starts like flaking or smudging. So it's really just when you're in it that you notice that it's bad, which is why finding a really good mascara is so important. And I really have not had issues with this one. I actually really, really like it also not impossible to get off at the end of the day, which is important to me. I hate that where you feel like you have to use like your entire thing of eye makeup remover just to get off your mascara. It's a bummer. People do the weirdest things with their mouths when they're doing eye makeup. Have you noticed that they're like, <laughs> sorry. It's very hard to make a regular face when you're putting on eye makeup. I'm like, <laughs> ah. so as you can see, I'm just doing an extra coat. Really, you wanna take your time with your lashes. You know, really get every single last lash. You owe it to those lashes. They've worked so hard to grow and they need to be found even the little itty bitty ones. Okay. So there are my lashes. I'm going to hit the bottoms a tiny bit. I don't do a lot of mascara on the bottom because my lashes are pretty long on the bottom and then it gets on my under eye makeup, which is not fun. Okay. <laughs> now, my favorite highlighter. So here's a Fenty Beauty brush, which I love. It's angled, it's perfect for highlighter. This MAC highlighter is just my ongoing fave. Um, Double Gleam Extra Dimension Skin Finish is what it's called. This is what it looks like. It's kind of a champagne color. So I like to just hit my cheekbone. Like look what that already does. Hit my cheekbones in a little arc with the outside orbit of my eye. Tip up my nose. Cupid's bow. I 
You can also put this on with your finger right on the cheekbone. It makes it like extra gleamy. But I just love a good highlighter. Just so pretty for the face. Okay, it is time for our lipstick. It was very hard for me to choose which lipstick I wanted to use today for this because I'm a bold lipstick lover for sure. Um, and some of my favorites, so I'll just show you a couple, like for example, another one of my favorites that I'm not using today, but um, I'll just show you them because they're worth, they're worth showing off. So uh, these are two of my faves. So these are Fenty Beauty. This is obviously a bright pink. This is like a purple. Um, they have a really pretty coral color also. But um, these are the lip, the Stunna lip paints. These are amazing if you love a bold lip. Um, today I'm using a brand called, called Hourglass. Um, I really like Hourglass because it's totally all natural but high performance. Um, and I know a lot of you guys, especially when it comes to lip color, there's a lot of people following me that are pregnant or getting pregnant or in between pregnancies or breastfeeding, whatever. And obviously it's great to be using as many natural lip colors as possible during that time. Um, it's just healthier. So uh, this is this little lip color. It's kind of like a pencil and lipstick combined. It's in this really pretty case. Um, this color is called I Desire and it's super bold. It almost has like a bit of an orangey. It has a very cool undertone, which I love because I feel like in the summer when you're tan and everything, it just pops, it just looks really pretty. Um, so I'm gonna put it on. I'm trying to think what the best way for me to show you. Maybe I'll put it on into my compact so I can get up close and do it. So I like this because it's really comfortable, but it's super, super pigmented and it really stays. Of course I tried it before, <laughs> before I showed you. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. So I love the color, it's so pretty. I'm gonna take a Q-tip, just roll it on the inside of my mouth so it doesn't get lipstick on my teeth. And here you see this really pretty lip, bold lip, really gleamy, pretty skin, bronzed face, so it's not competing with the lip. And um, this is my favorite way to wear a bold lip in the summertime. Um, not a lot of drama in the eye, keep it fresh, keep it pretty, but um, that bold color on the mouth. So thanks for watching. I hope you like this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel um, and check out more tutorials and DIY and lots of videos on happilyofafter.com. You guys have a great day.